Hey, good afternoon, fellas. It's going on two. We're about 60 and uh, 66 in here. Yeah, that's on low. Get the chill out of the air. Been running around most of the day. Uh, Russ, your box is on its way. You should get it a week from today. And uh, and just let me know when you get it. Also, we got the new base for in the TV room, so we'll be getting that done along with the corners which are right here so that'll be going on later on this week uh, this video the first portion of this video is for uh, shade tree fix it man George this is what I was talking about I know you run HO but I know you like old old stuff and I know I don't know where I picked this up at but I know this is old and uh, somewhat complete uh, if anybody's not familiar with American Flyer that they, they S gauge uh, probably the biggest layout I knew of of S gauge was uh, at the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry uh, before they put the new HO set up in there they had they had they were running S gauge and uh, it's a little smaller than your uh, Lionel three uh, rail track because it was two rail track. Hold on, let me get this out. And uh, that's it. I had this sitting around for, I don't know where I picked this up at. But anyway, George, this is what I want to send you if you want it, man. So I know you sent me your address. And uh, I know your fondness for old uh, model railroad stuff. So if you want this, just verify it and uh, drop me a line and tell me that you want it and I'll box it up. The only thing missing in it is uh, one of the red light bulbs which was here and then the little tin roof that goes over the little shack here with the bell in it. Let's see if we get the bell to ring. Nope. With the bell in it. This is the signal that when the train went over it, it activated the crossing. So again George, if you want it let me know and uh, I'll be more than willing to box this up and send it off to you uh, let me get this back in here guys God, I don't know where I picked this up at but anyway it'll go to a good if George wants it it'll go to a good home I know it will so yeah American Flyer S gauge So, what we're going to do today is, I got, uh, I'm going to call it the U-Dizzy Fever, because U-Dizzy's been cleaning his shop. Uh, a goal of mine when I retired a year ago was to clean all four of these shelves off and reorganize them and everything else. Now, this one is pretty much cleared off because of the jack stands coming out. Right there in the corner, you can just barely make it out. That's my generator. And I probably should pull that out and fire that up. It hasn't been fired up since last year, too. But this shelf on the bottom here, this one, that's the trash shelf. And we're definitely going to pull this out. Uh, the black canvas bag is my buffing stuff for buffing out cars. Uh, porter cable, that is a buffer and, an, and a sander. Uh, battery charger, heat gun, there's another bench grinder in there. God, there's a whole bunch of crap in there. We need just to pull it out and see. I want to pull it out and clean it and then put it back together. Uh, and see what the trash I can throw out. So that's the goal for today is just cleaning this out and uh, thank you Dizzy. Thanks you Dizzy for uh, giving me the uh, cleaning bug but uh, believe me it was something I wanted to do uh, ever since I retired last year. So, when I have more, I'll turn this back on. Russ, your box is on its way to you, like I said, next Tuesday. George, let me know on this. And uh, you can see I got flat, flat rate boxes for both the lights for uh, Roger and this for George. And uh, if George wants it, and then I'll uh, go ahead and I'll send those out tomorrow. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks to my subscribers. Thanks for leaving comments. And you guys have a good one. Later. Hey, fellas.
Yeah, all this crap was in there. Oh, let me get this radio. Yeah. All this stuff was packed in there. Now that I got it all out, see wheel bearing packer, bearing packer. God. My polars or my power, let's see what is it, portable power unit. Uh, I don't know whose grinder that is. I'm gonna have to talk to one of my one of my sons and see. This jumper cables. This is a case for a peanut grinder right there. So I guess we put that back in the case. Oh God, what else? Let's see. That's my Brad nailer right in that case. The bag is all the attachments to the Makita chop saw. Oh, let's see, soldering gun. Oh God, can you remember? And this bottom case, <laughs> Craftsman three-quarter inch socket and uh, ratchet and breaker bar set. So, what I'm debating is whether to paint that. I've been wanting to paint the bench for years now, and I got this out, so maybe I start cleaning and painting as I go. Uh, we're on hold, waiting for parts for this. So, uh, oh, we can do a little things. We'll be jumping back. Let me take that back. We're not on hold on parts for this. There are little things that we can do. We still got to set the trunk and get the lock set in that and everything and get that done. Uh, we can put the, uh, let's see, I guess they're called strikers. I don't know. We can put these back in and, uh, and line up the doors and finish lining up the doors and get there done. So there's stuff we can do on the Camaro, but this has been a pain in my butt for probably, I wanna say, well, ever since, this is one of my goals to do the first year I was off was uh, clean out the bench and uh, paint it. Uh, this is old uh, toolbox drawer lining material. That's the battery cover from my wife's trailblazer, which we traded in last uh, May. We could throw that out. So, I think I'm going to go to Home Depot and buy some Battleship gray paint again, and uh, we're going to paint this paint, clean the bin, and then paint it. And then once it's dry, put everything back in it. I think uh, that's the best thing to do if you're going to clean and reorganize, throw some crap out is do it that way so I'm not going to bore you with anything else we're just going to go ahead and uh, and uh, get this done and uh, probably paint that yeah I think the more I think about it we'll paint it so when I get more I'll turn this back on or actually no this will be it for today guys uh, no sense in boring you and me cleaning uh, you dizzy gave me the bug so I guess I'm gonna have to do it so this is it for today. You guys have a good evening. And uh, George, let me know on, uh, on that. All right. Later, guys.